Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will compare ChatGPT Plus versus Gemini Advanced and Grok 1.5 to see how Elon Musk's AI chatbot stacks against the competition. The comparison will include 10 questions that covers most of the common scenarios. So without further ado, let's jump in. First things first, Grok 1.5 only supports text input with no documents or images upload unlike the other two, and I don't have access to Grok 1.5 Vision that offers this functionality, so I will only use text commands, and here's the first category that includes some puzzles and math problems. The first question is a simple trick. Each number is equal to the number of letters in its English name, so let's see the results. Only Gemini understood the logic behind this puzzle and gave the right answer where 6 equals 3. In contrast, ChatGPT and the Grok went a bit too far and tried to link this logic to a hidden pattern, giving wrong and completely different answers to one point only to Gemini. The second command is a simple math problem. You can pause the video to check it if you want, but let's jump right away to the results. All of them gave the right answer, which is 43, so one point each. The third one is how to get 1000 by adding 8 8s. In this one, Grok was surprisingly bad. It gone through a lot of calculations and here's what we got at the end. First, I don't know why it decided to add 36 to the equation even though it violates the rule. Plus, the end result is 100 instead of 1000 as requested. I think Elon Musk should see this one. In contrast, ChatGPT and Gemini gave the right answers. Number four is another math problem of a 54-year-old daughter called Sally and her mother is 80 years old. The question is how many years ago was Sally's mother three times her age? So let's take a look at the answers. Gemini was the only one that got it wrong while ChatGPT and the Grog deserved the point. The fifth and last one in this category is kinda tricky. It sounds like a normal math problem, but when you read it carefully, you will understand that the ladder is attached to the ship's body, so the water will never reach the fifth rung of the ladder, because the higher the tide, the higher the ship, so let's see which one will get it. Both Gemini and the chat GPT got it right, while Grok has been tricked into the calculations, so one point only to Gemini and the chat GPT. The next category will include some random commands about things I personally came across. The first question is to ask each AI to tell me the best concepts and the highlights of the $100 million offers book by Alex Hermosi, so let's see the results. Here I was really impressed by the results coming out of chat GPT. The summary was very detailed, organized with titles, and it can help you understand a lot about this book. In contrast, Gemini said that it doesn't know enough about that person to tell me anything, even though I can learn a lot more about this book by a simple Google search. Sometimes Gemini drives me crazy. When it comes to Grok, it was surprisingly good, which I didn't expect, and I found the summary to be very useful and organized. But it wasn't as detailed as a chat GPT, so both deserved the point, with the edge going to chat GPT. The next command is describing a product that I want to know its name, which is the cleaning gel used in removing dust in between gaps. Gemini and the chat GPT identified the exact product I'm looking for, while Grok's answer was a bit confusing. It said that the product name is dust remover or keyboard cleaner and it comes in a roll which is not the same one I'm looking for so only one point to Gemini and the chat GPT. Command number eight is to provide them with a poorly formatted data and ask each one to put it into a table. You will see here that I'm not using consistent headers to make things harder so let's give it a try. All of them formatted the data correctly and this is one of the things that saves me a lot of time at work, so one point each. The last category I have is about traveling which requires a lot of research, so I prefer to use AI to make things easier. And the first question is how much it costs to fly from Dubai to Baku in mid-October, the best hotels and things to do. Taking a look at the results, each one gave me a different average price for the ticket. ChatGPT was the only one to suggest Fly Dubai and Azerbaijan Airlines for direct flights, and Grok was the only one to suggest Abu Dhabi as an alternative to Dubai, while Gemini only gave me the average price. Moving to the hotels, ChatGPT gave me three options with a brief description. Gemini suggested four with descriptions and photos, which I like, and Grok gave me three options, but it was the only one to provide the average cost per night, which is very useful. When it comes to the things to do section, all of them suggested five places, but only Gemini provided photos, which makes it easier to decide. On top of this, Gemini provided the most useful additional tips, 
like suggesting purchasing Baku card for discounted access to attractions and public transportation and some information about the local cuisine, which none of the other two did. Overall, Gemini had more advantages than the other two, like providing photos, more hotel suggestions, and better additional tips, so it deserves the point. And here's the last question I have in this video. As an Egyptian who lives in Dubai, do I need a visit visa to enter Georgia or not? I know for a fact that I don't need to apply for an e-visa as I did it before, so let's see which one of them will get it right. In this one, only ChatGPT got it right, confirming that I don't need to apply for an e-visa while Gemini and the Croc have been tricked, advising me with the steps to apply for the visa, which is incorrect, so one point only to ChatGPT. One last thing I want to mention about Grok is in some commands it suggests relevant X posts, which is a handy feature that none of the other two offers. So one point only to Grok for this one. And here's my final conclusion. Of course, ChatGPT and Gemini are far ahead, but Grok was very useful in some commands, which I didn't expect, but it really lags behind when it comes to math problems and logic. I'm eagerly waiting to try Grok 1.5 Vision to see how good is it in analyzing images and documents when it becomes available in my region. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.